Hello, oh, welcome back to the next video. This is the Cyclops 360 all in one liquid cooler from Bits Power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what, what's in the box by doing a little unboxing and then I'm going to install it in the system, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you how it performs. So, continue to watch. So, yeah, but still, this is my look at it. Now, this is a 360 AIO and it comes with these weird looking crystallized fans or the diamond or whatever they're called but that's all the specifications that's what it supports basically supports everything within the last 15 to 15 to 16 years and that's a bit more information on the cooler by here see blah 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 blah, blah. so as you can see I have not opened it because I left it just for you guys. And as you know, I am a I I do like my unboxings, so I thought I'd take you on the ride with this one because I haven't done many unboxings of late and I'm actually missing them. So Alright then. So this will be my first look with you. Right, so first of all, you've got the installation guide. Okay. Well, it's rather easy, actually. Oh, so this actually, a back plate, it comes with a back plate, so... There we go. We've got some foam. Oh! The fans are pre-installed, okay, I like that feature. Uh, Thermalright does it. And to be honest, it saves so much time. So this is everything that comes in the box. So you've got this little the gigabyte, so it's for their motherboard it is. Then you've got these. I'm assuming that is TR4. Then you've got this then for LGA 2000, oh yeah, 2011. You've got <coughs> um, little springs. A little, little screws, and then you've got an Intel back, black back plate, and then you've got an uh, AMD back plate. What else is in there? Okay. You've got some more screws, that's put there, there probably to mount to the case. And then you've got D then, which I'm assuming for the AMD. And then you've got LGA 1700 brackets included in the box. Thank you very much, Bits Power. So let's have a look at the. Ooh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. oh comes with pre installed thermal paste. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Wow. I really like. Oh, really? Oh, look. Squidgy mess. Just. Ah, oh, really? Bloody hell. Let's take this out because I'm really interested in the look. Ooh, this looks really nice. I like the look of them. Get the box out of the way. Bug it off, box. Right there. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all that. Oh, my word. It, uh. Oh, my word. Look at all that. Oh. Uh. Well, it's nice that it's, uh, that it is pre-done, but bloody hell is it a lot of cables. Right, so, let's have a look at that. That is the screen by there. Comes with pre-installed thermal paste, which I actually do like that. That is nice. I like pre-installed. Oh, and it has a oh, warranty if, uh, if removed. It looks like a fill port but now i really do want to look at these fans so what i'm going to do is i'll get this installed and then what we'll do is do some performance graphs and then we'll have a nose so continue to watch Right, these are the performance benchmarks I ran. Now I ran Cinebench R23 with PBO enabled. The, it was run for 10 minutes. 
the idols are 26 celsius the lowest i've seen on any aio i've had so far the max was 60 this beat the pure loop from uh, be quiet no hands down just beat it the 3d mark cpu test the idols were 29 and the max on that was 54 celsius ridiculous that's just amazing Fur mark then I ran for 10 minutes, I the idols was a 30, the max was a 61, that again fantastic, now I ran all my tests for 10 minutes, that means Cinebench I ran it for a 10 minute run, same with the 3D Mark CPU test, I ran it for 10 minutes, it means I would just loop it, so to make sure that I get the liquid inside the rad saturated, so, it's, so that's it. And as far as for gameplay, honestly, you know, this won't really matter in gameplays because not all games will hit the CPU as hard as the synthetic benchmarks. So you should be fine. That is just me saying you will be fine, I reckon. So, um, right, the pros. The RGB and the performance are absolutely amazing. The RGB effect on these fans are fantastic. It looks a little bit like them... Um, Oh, what do they call it? I think they call it uh, Royale RGB RAM. It's got that like crystallized RGB effect on top. Now, I think it looks a bit gaudy on the RAM, but on here it looks really nice, especially if you've got it attached to like um, an ARGB um, controller where it comes with a remote. So many things you can do with it. It's, it looks brilliant. Like. Um, the performance is the best AIO I've had so far. It beats a lot of the ones, it beats every single one I've had. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is the amount of cables you've got to, uh, you know, cable manage. Now, I understand with the, the pump, the pump header, as well as the um, RGB coming off the block, but the amount of fans and the fan cables and the ARGB cables coming off the fans is ridiculous. Probably, if... Bitspa was to redo this, they would probably put their own, their new Griffin fans on, which can sync together fan by fan through DG a uh, DRGB. So, you know, but as far as performance and looks, spot on. I reckon you should guys go buy it. Just please, please do take into account that there is a mountain of cables. So look. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.